Hello teacher. Hello students. Welcome to today's lesson on which we will continue to study more types of sectional views in detail. In today's lesson, we will see the broken out, revolved and removed sections. As you remember in our previous lesson, we have seen the full, half and offset sections. Let's briefly revise the previous lesson as usual. A sectional view obtained by passing the cutting plane line fully through the object is called a full section. In order to obtain the sectional view, the right half is only imagined to be removed. Arrows on the cutting plane line indicate line of sight for the section view. Objects that are symmetry can be shown effectively using a half section. Half sections expose the interior for one half of the object and the exterior of the other half while one quarter of the object is removed. While drawing a half section, omit hidden lines from both halves of a half section whenever possible and use a center line to divide the sectioned half and the unsectioned half. In sectioning through complex objects, it's often desirable to show features that do not lie in a straight line by offsetting or bending the cutting plane. The cutting plane and this type of sectional view offsets or bends in 90 degrees. The bends in the cutting plane are never shown in the sectional view. Well students, learning these different types of sectional views and their methods allow you to document the design and manufacture of single parts which are manufactured as one piece or to study the interior structure of an assembly. The first types of sectional view for today is the broken out section. I hope you remember the short break line from your grade 11 technical drawing lesson. The short break line is a thick wavy line which is drawn with a free hand. This line was defined as it is used to break the edge or surface of a part for clarity of a hidden surface. The function of this short break line lies at the broken out sectional views. Broken out sections are also known as partial sectional views. As its name implies, it's used to generate a section for a small area and when only a partial section is needed to expose key interior details. There is no cutting plane line indicated or used when using a broken out view. The broken out sectional view is made by passing the cutting plane normal to the viewing direction and removing the portion of an object in front of it. The brick line is used to separate the sectioned portion from the unsectioned portion of the view. Partial views may also be used with sectioning if a space is limited on the paper or to save time. Broken out section removes a small amount of material to show the interior details so it's always used in an orthographic view. While drawing the short break line with a free hand, there is no rule or pattern of drawing it. You just have to cover the area which describes the key interior feature which you want to expose. Students, I think it's time that you practice the broken out sectional view. This time, I'll give you the three-dimensional drawing along with one view of the object. 
you should be able to draw the other view with the broken out section. Go ahead and do that now. Well, I am sure that was easy. Not as a solution I am about to give you, but your short break line might not be the same as mine. Don't worry about it and focus on the internal detail and the section lines only. Well, 
The other type of sectional view which we are going to discuss today is known as revolved section. Revolve means rotate or turn around. The revolved section shows the cross section of the part by rotating or revolving it. The revolved section showed the shape of the cross section of a bar, arm, spook, or other elongated object which is not normally shown in the longitudinal section. The cross section of the part is exposed by revolving it about an axis of revolution and placing it on the same view, centered on the axis of revolution. Such sections are made by assuming a plane perpendicular to the center line or axis of the object, then revolve the plane through 90 degrees about the line at right angles to the axis. The visible line adjacent to a revolved section may be broken out section with a short break line if desired. Remember that when revolved, the section should show in its true shape and in its true revolved position. You can use as many revolved sections as it is needed in an object. Student, I hope you noticed that just like the broken out section, we don't need to draw the cutting plane line in any view when using a revolved section. Now, it's your turn to try the revolved section by yourself. A study the given object and draw the necessary two views, then draw the revolved section where necessary. Go ahead and do that now.
Welcome back. I hope that was easy. The trick is to visualize the object's longitudinal section. Let me give you the solution as usual and compare your drawings with it. I hope you have understood the concept and application of a revolved section. The final type of sectional view for today is the removed section. As you can tell from its name, the removed section shows the cross section of the object by removing it from the view of the object. And unlike the broken out and revolved sections, this time, we are going to show the cutting plane line. Let's see. A removed section is similar to a revolved section, except that it does appear on an external view, but in its state is drawn out of place and appears adjacent to it. Removed sections are desirable because their use may prevent a principal view of an object from being misunderstood, especially if the cross-section of the object is not uniform. The removed section helps from being cluttered with numerous revolved sections. Removed sections may be drawn to an enlarged scale in order to emphasize detail and allow for adequate dimensioning. Usually, a removed section is identified by showing the cutting plane on the principal view and then labeling both the plane and the resulting view. Removed sections should be labeled and arranged in alphabetical order from left to right. Labeling is more useful when you have multiple removed sections. A removed section is more like an auxiliary view of the cross-section because it's not positioned in alignment with the standard arrangement of views. But when too many removed sections are used, the sections can be drawn anywhere desirable or even in another sheet of paper. Since the basic concept of the revolved and removed section is all about cross-sections, it should be easier for you to draw the removed sectional drawings. Just to make sure, let's do an activity for the removed sections as well. Always remember to cross-hatch the section parts and in this case to place the cutting plane line with their labels too.
Welcome back. I hope you have provided enough removed section for the given object. Let's see the solutions together. Well, there are more types of sectional views which are not often used but are still applicable. A line section is one of them. Let's see. The word a line means in a row or in a straight line. An aligned section therefore is a sectional view that shows all the features of an object which is sectioned by the cutting plane line in a row or a straight line. Aligned sections are used when an angled cutting plane is to pass through angled features. The cutting plane that divides the orthographic view is angled as well. However, unlike an offset cutting plane, it's not bending at a 90 degrees angles. The plane and the angled features are then imagine to be revolved into a straight plane and the section is projected from there. Though in the orthographic view, the feature is drawn in an angle, but in the sectional view, it's perfectly aligned. It's in a straight line with the main circular part of the object. The bent cutting line in the orthographic view is straightened in the sectional view. To show the interior detail of the object in one row or a straight line. Notice that aligned sections are not realistic according to the rules of orthographic projection, but is still applicable and useful in the manufacturing world. Well, students, we have learned an important lesson today. Let's revise what we have learned before we come to the end of this lesson. In today's lesson, we have seen the broken out section, the revolved section, and the removed section. Broken out section is used when only a partial section of a view is needed to expose interior shapes. This section is limited by a brick line on a standard orthographic view and did not use cutting plane line. Revolve section showed the shape of the cross section of a bar, R, spook, or other elongated object by placing an imaginary cutting plane line across the object and by rotating the longitudinal section perpendicularly along the axis. The visible lines adjacent to a revolved section may be broken out if desired. A removed section is one that is not in direct projection from the view containing the cutting plane. It shows the cross-section of an object, but the sectional views can be drawn outside of the view aligned to the cutting plane or placed elsewhere in the paper or in the drawing sheet set. Sometimes these sections are enlarged to emphasize the detail of the object. Removed sections should be labeled and arranged in alphabetical order from left to right. Aligned sections used when an angled cutting plane to pass through angled features. The cutting plane may be bent to pass through those features. The plane and features are then imagined to be revolved into the original plane and the section projected from there. Well, students, that brings us to the end of this lesson. 
keep practicing what you have learned on your practical periods with your teacher. Teacher, please assist your students on their needs. On our next lesson, we will see the conventional practice in sectioning. Until then, thank you, teacher. Thank you, students. Goodbye.